Nigeria's rising debt profile has continued to raise concern, failing fears of a debt crisis in the nearest future. This comes as President Mohamed Buhari sought the approval of the National Assembly to borrow another $4 billion and $710 million euro Heroes loan from bilateral and multilateral organizations to fund a deficit in the 2021 budget. While the Senate says the borrowings are necessary, industry watchers have warned of more economic challenges if the debt burden keeps rising. Our correspondent, Falashade Oguride, tells us more. The debate on whether or not government should borrow more to fund the 2022 budget reached a climax when the Senate announced that it has approved the 2022-2024 MTEF FSP paper. The document details President Buhari's request for approval of projected new borrowings of 4.89 trillion naira, a move President of the Senate, Hamad Lawan, says is unavoidable. When we had plenty of money, we didn't prioritize the construction of infrastructure in Nigeria. Today, we realize we need to construct infrastructure because that is the only way to develop the country. Unfortunately, we don't have the kind of resources we had before. Now, our options are very limited because our revenues are limited. I agree with all my colleagues who said we need to reduce borrowing. Data from the Debt Management Office shows that as of March 2021, Nigeria's total public debt hit 33.1 trillion naira. Recently, the DMO also announced that Nigeria has raised another $4 billion through euro bonds, raising the country's external debt stock figure to $14.37 billion. The foreign loans that we are borrowing these days don't expect forgiveness because they are commercial loans, they are not bilateral loans, they are not multilateral in nature. Owners of bonds, those who have received the bond certificate from a country, will certainly go for their money. The seriousness of Nigeria's debt crisis is further highlighted in an official report, which indicates that the country is spending practically all of its revenue on servicing debts. A concern President Mohamed Buhari re-echoed at the UN General Assembly on Friday. The COVID-19 pandemic has increased the risk of new means of different debt where vital public financial resources are allocated to external debt services and payments at the expense of domestic health and financing for critical development needs. Therefore, there is an urgent need to consider expansion and extension of debt service suspension initiatives to include all developing, least developed countries and small island developing states facing fiscal and liquidity challenges. The big question to Nigeria's debt problem is who will pay these debts? Former President Olusha Gomba Sanjo just might have given a clue to the answer when he said borrowing to accumulate debt for the next generation is questionable. Fulashadi Ugurinde, TV360 News.